I always loved the scene in 101 Dalmatians where they're slipping the collars over their heads. And whenever we have like a new dog or whatever, I always think of that when I put the collars on them. They're all like, lucky, and then he comes around or one of them's peeing on the floor. <laughs> That's what it's really like. The question I get asked the most is probably if I'm crazy, which is definitely yes. <laughs> I don't think otherwise you could have nine dogs. Every day I wake up around six o'clock. The earlier I get up, the happier they are. If they have to bark to get me up, <laughs> the morning stuff starts off like chaos. But if I get up before they do, things are a lot more peaceful. If I get them up, feed them, they go back out, do their business. On a general day, we just spend most of the day, they'll hang out, if it's nice, they'll lay around outside. <laughs> Every dog definitely has its individual personality. I realize there's a breed temperament that you could say goes for all of them, but I, they're all so different. <laughs> when my mom kept Belle, she decided that she really wanted to start a therapy organization. Little did she know that she was gonna be one of those people and it ended up that our dogs were therapy dogs for her before we even really got the chance to start their training. We started the training while she was sick and I would take her to training with us. I would push her wheelchair and walk the dog next to her wheelchair and we'd do the training classes together. Her stomach had been bothering her for a little bit and I was like, you really need to see a doctor. <laughs> and she was one of those people that was like, I'll be okay. She went for exploratory surgery and that's when I found out like what was going on. She definitely found comfort in all the dogs. I would bring them in to spend time with her all the time. The one that definitely made a big difference was Guinness. I called her the nurse. She was by my mom's side every single day. Good boy, Joe. My mom died on April 10th, 2018. My mom's dream was to start our own therapy organization. So right now what I'm trying to do is get them all trained first and then look at forming a nonprofit where I can get them as a like complete organization to be seen and invited into places. I don't even think I can adequately give them enough credit for all the stuff the dogs add to our lives. If it weren't for the dogs, there would be so many days that I would stay in bed after my mom died. So they just like keep me moving, I guess. <laughs>